What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So today I'm swatching the Orly Melting Point collection from their Breathable line for Spring Summer 2024. So we've got six brand new nail polishes, all of them shimmers. They're super bright. We have a whole little rainbow of them. And like I said, this is part of their Breathable line, which is a little bit different from their regular nail polish line. They are still vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients. They're still cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals and they're still formulated without harmful ingredients but they are also infused with argan oil pro vitamin b5 and vitamin c and they're also breathable meaning that excess moisture can escape without causing any chipping or peeling and they are a one-step system so you don't need to use base and top coat with them i personally don't use base coat with them because i do find that they have a little bit of a strengthening effect on my nails but i will admit i still like to use top coat on them so they're not quite as breathable when i wear them but anyway, let me show you the six polishes, then we can talk a little bit more about my thoughts on the colors, pricing, availability, all that good stuff. So roll the swatch footage. No base coat is necessary for these polishes, so I'm just gonna dive right in with this first shade, which is called The Floor is Lava, and it's this gorgeous, vibrant pink base that has a really intense golden shimmer running throughout, and you can actually see there are a couple of bigger golden flecks in there as well. They're still super tiny, but I think they just add a little bit of dimension because they hit the light a little bit differently than the regular shimmer, but you can see this one is actually really opaque. It fully covered up my visible nail line in the first coat, but I did do two coats for full opacity, and I just love that contrast. We've got this really intense pink with that golden shimmer, almost giving it like a, a bit of a corally salmon kind of look, but it's so vibrant. It feels like the perfect transitional shade from spring into summer. Next up, we have the shade Erupt No Good, which I have to say is probably the best best pun that I've heard for a nail polish name in a really long time. That's very, very good. But this one is the orange of the collection. So it's actually a pink base, but it is so packed with this duochrome orange to gold shimmer that it fully turns the polish into this beautiful fiery orange kind of shade. And again, perfect coverage in two coats. This one did have a little bit of that pearlized finish with all of that shimmer in there. So it does have that sort of streaky look to it, but I honestly like that look. I think it makes my nails look a little bit longer, but this shade is stunning. This was definitely a surprise favorite of the collection. It's just so vibrant. It feels like summer and I'm really excited to wear it. Next up, we've got the yellow of the collection. This one is called Cesium the Day, and this one is just a really beautiful, bright yellow base with a whitish shimmer running throughout. And this one I did find to be a little bit more sheer. I could probably get away with doing two coats of it, but on camera, I felt like it just needed that third coat. So I ended up doing three coats for full coverage, but honestly, I feel like that's fine. I know I say it a lot, but just in case you're new here, I feel like yellow nail polish tends to be the most sheer, even more sheer than white nail polish tends to be. I'm not sure why that is, but I feel like it's pretty common for me to do three coats when I'm wearing a yellow, so I don't mind that at all. The formula is really nice, and the color is just so bright and happy. And then we have the shade Having a Smelt Down, and this one is like a turquoise blue kind of shade, but there's a little bit of a greenish shimmer in there, and this was actually another one that I found to be a little bit sheer. I thought I was going to get full coverage in two coats, but I felt like it just wasn't quite there yet. So I ended up having to do a third for that one, which I was a little bit disappointed in because I did feel like this should be one of the more opaque shades of the collection. But I also feel like I just wasn't meant to like this one because it kind of reminds me of like the dusty springy shades. So honestly, I do feel like this one was kind of set up to fail for me. But I will say once it hit full coverage, I did like it a lot more. And I kind of like that it's this in-between shade between being a blue and a green. I know not everybody loves wearing green nail polish. I personally think it's a very underrated shade, but when it comes to Skittle manicures, for some reason, I do love to have a color like this instead of a green. I don't know why. I just think it flows a little bit better. So I do like this shade for that. Next up, we have the shade Glass Act, and this one totally redeemed the previous shade. And this is actually what I'm wearing on my nails in the intro and outro of this video. This one is a purple base, but it is so packed with this duochrome blue shimmer. So at some angles, it looks a little bit more blue. Sometimes it looks a little bit more turquoise. And I started off with two coats. I loved the way that it looked. It did cover up my visible nail line, and I loved the way that it felt where the light hits it it looks more of a blue. 
but where the light isn't directly hitting it, it looks like more of a purple. So I thought that was really fun, but just out of curiosity, I wanted to try a third coat and I feel like it looks totally different in three. It actually became more of a blue shade. So you lost a little bit of that purple base. And honestly, I cannot decide which way I like it better. I'm actually wearing two coats on one hand and three coats on the other because I was trying to decide, but I keep changing my mind because sometimes I really like the purple vibe and sometimes I really like the blue vibe. So I feel like this is pretty cool because you kind of get two different polish styles in one. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade that everybody knows that I'm going to love. That is Aloy Meiti. And this one is a really beautiful, cool toned purple base with this intense fuchsia purple shimmer running throughout. And this is just beyond stunning. It's so vibrant. It's almost neon on the nails. I love that combination of the cool base color combined with that warmer shimmer that just makes it look like it's glowing. And the formula was amazing. It was a two coater. It had a little bit of that pearliness to it. So you can see just a very slight streakiness, but it's not enough that it looks like a pearlized polish. So kind of get the best of both worlds there. I think it's really fun and Orly just knows how to make a really good purple. <laughs> so here are all the shades together and I honestly love them. I think they're so vibrant and beautiful. I love those intense shimmers in each color and I also think they look really beautiful together. I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in a second, but I think that Orly just makes really beautiful color stories and they always make polishes that pair nicely. So whether you want to do a full skittle where each nail is a different color or if you want to just combine a couple of the shades where you do like a couple of accent nails. I feel like the colors always tend to go really beautifully together and they just flow really nicely. So that's always something that I look for in a collection. I know not everybody cares about that but it's something that's very important to me so I always appreciate it. But individually I think these colors are really stunning too. Even the ones that are a little bit more on the sheer side I feel like the finished product just looks stunning on the nails. So I really have no complaints complaints here. I'm very pleased with this set. So those are the polishes. And like I said, I love these colors. I feel like they're just making me so excited for the warmer weather. And the shimmers that they pick just really complement the colors so well. But most of all, the thing that I always appreciate about Orly is the way that they put together a theme or a color story. I feel like every time I get one of their collections, I always want to do a Skittle where each nail is a different color from the collection because they always just look so beautiful together. Temptation was actually very strong to immediately do a Skittle with these, but I decided I'm going to wait until the weather is just a little bit warmer because it has been a little bit cold here lately. So now let's get into pricing and availability. All of these polishes are available on the Orly website and they're also on different retailers as well. So I will link those down below as they become available. They come in 18 milliliter bottles, which is absolutely massive. You get a ton for your money. They do feature a wide flat brush that has a rounded tip and they also have a rubberized cap. So they're really easy to open the bottles and they retail on the Orly website for $11 USD each, which I will link down in the description. You can check them out if you're interested, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this collection? Are you planning on picking any of them up? And if you are, which colors are you grabbing? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. And if you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Angel. I really appreciate your support and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. So today is April Fool's Day. So for my fun fact, I'm going to share that I actually hate pranks. <laughs> I, I always hate to admit it because I feel like people think that I'm less fun for that, but I, I really hate pranks. Obviously some pranks are better than others. I think that the best prank is one that doesn't hurt anybody and that everybody can laugh at and nobody is being made fun of. But like just in general, I really don't like them. I feel like specifically for some reason in Vegas, a lot of people film pranks here and I don't know why I just get so like, I, I, I hate the idea of them. I don't want to be in them. I also feel like, especially on April 1st, I always get a lot of emails from brands that are April Fool's jokes. And sometimes it's just not immediately apparent that it is a joke and sometimes I, I I don't know like sometimes there are things that make you upset you know what I mean so I don't love that but yeah I'm curious to hear what everybody else thinks of pranks if you enjoy them if you hate them and if you do enjoy them let me know what, what do you think is the best prank that has either been done to you or that you have done to somebody else let me know in the comments we can chat about it and I will see you all in my next video bye <laughs>